Hi, I'm Jeff Dozette, Administrator of the Emergency and Radiological Services Division at the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality. DEQ's mission is to protect human health and the environment. We have an array of instruments that help us uh, do that. Uh, we have the area array, a FLIR camera, a gas mat instrument, and a SUMA canister. I'll be bringing forward shortly some technical scientists that will explain the limitations and the capabilities of each instrument. Hi, I'm Kevin Bourne, the Emergency Response Supervisor for LDEQ. These are our area array air monitors. These units can be used as remote wireless monitors that are able to send real-time data to a centralized command center up to two miles away. This allows us to monitor for a potentially dangerous atmosphere without endangering one of our employees that's out in the field operating the monitor. These units are capable of detecting up to five different threats. VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds, combustibles or flammable vapors, toxic gases including ammonia, sulfur dioxide, and chlorine, and oxygen levels. We have 12 of these units around the state that are available for rapid deployment whenever the need arises. Um, we're able to use these units on large-scale, long-term incidents that might require an LD personnel to respond for multiple days at a time and perform air monitoring. While these can be used as remote monitors, they're not meant for 24-7 ambient air monitors. They must be deployed by LDEQ staff and monitored for the duration of the incident. Hi, I'm William Felician. I'm an environmental scientist with Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality. We have two instruments using infrared principles. One is the Gazimet DX 4040 FTIR gas analyzer, and the other is the FLIR FG320 camera. FLIR is the acronym for Forward Looking Infrared. The FLIR camera is frequently used during plant inspections for locating leaks in pipes, tanks, or valves. It's a portable battery operated infrared camera detector. It has video recording capabilities for documentation and it will determine the presence or absence of chemicals in the air without measuring a concentration. The camera detects chemicals at much higher levels than the FTIR. It is a non-specific detector, meaning it will pick up any chemicals within its narrow infrared range. It is limited to a smaller list of chemicals compared to the FTIR. This is a Gazmet DX4040 FTIR gas analyzer. FTIR stands for Fourier Transform Infrared. This instrument is useful for measuring gas emissions in the field at low concentration because of its ease of use, rapid response time, and accuracy. The basic operational process of this instrument involves infrared radiation passing through a sample. Some radiation is absorbed and some passes through or is transmitted. Then a signal which is the um, fingerprint of the sample, is sent to a detector. With, with this instrument, numerous compounds can be identified simultaneously. It is useful for measuring exposure limits to chemicals set by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. Other instruments are used to measure chemicals at low concentration in accordance with ambient air standards. Here is one of several sumo canisters that we use in our air monitoring mission. The sumo canister is a stainless steel vessel and the insides are coated to preserve the identity of the samples collected. The canister is versatile, it can hold vacuum pressure or it can be pressurized. It can be used to collect a grab sample or it can be set up to pick up a sample over a period of time such as 24 hours. They are easy to hold on in the field and in the station they are used as fixed collection units. Um, the, once a canister collects a sample, it is transferred to a lab for analysis or to our mobile air monitoring lab. The canister's size and versatility makes it a key component in our mission by allowing us to receive a quick turnaround in what the canisters collect. Much like their work inside ambient air monitoring stations, the SUMA canisters are also connected to our mobile air monitoring lab, or MAML where the lab's instrumentation can identify a wide spectrum of constituents that may be present in the canister. The MAML is a vehicle that's capable of staging itself at or near almost any accessible location where an air release has or can occur. The collected samples inside the SUMA canisters are fed into the MAML's instrumentation where computers will provide us with the data. From there, we can better determine what chemical parameters are present in the atmosphere.
Aside from these useful field tools, DEQ also receives continual data that's collected from fixed ambient air monitoring stations located throughout the state. Data gathered from those stations is available real time on the DEQ website so the public can see what's going on with the air quality in their region. Depending on the nature of the situation, these instruments could be used individually or they could work together as a group to provide us a better idea of what's happening with the air to give us a better handle on how to protect human health and the environment. Uh, please check out our links uh, to previous videos uh, to get more information on these instruments and other capabilities uh, for DEQ. Uh, thank you.